passion, personalized care, and a mission to serve women and families in Kentucky. We are Frontier Nursing University. Through distance education and clinicals in your own community, become a nurse midwife and share your passion for women and family care. Visit Frontier.edu. Well, folks, it comes time for another cooking segment in our program, and it's another one without Dino. But we will go to Rhonda and learn how to make a great side dish, scalloped potatoes, one of our favorites here on the show. Rhonda? I've got another good family recipe for you today. This is my daughter's favorite. My mother-in-law, who was the original Mimi, Mary Catherine, she gave me this recipe, and she made it especially at Thanksgiving and Christmas, but just other times of the year, too. But, Rachel, this is for you. And I actually had a request to make this recipe on Facebook. So Angie, this is also for you. The recipe today is scalloped potatoes. And we're gonna start with some peeled potatoes that I've got here in cold water. And the reason I do that, it just keeps them fresher. They won't turn black. And um, I've got one here. I'll just finish up, but just peel your potatoes and let them soak in the cold water. And this is such an easy recipe. Peeled potatoes, real butter, some pasteurized processed cheese spread, milk, salt. And if you want to put a little pepper, you can too, but that's as easy as it is. And I'll show you how to do this. You start with your potatoes and you're just going to thinly slice them. A layer of potatoes kind of like my layer salad that I do, but you do a layer of potatoes, sprinkle a little salt on it, put a little butter on it, and I don't use a recipe, okay? If you're going to make a big lot, then just do more of the same. This recipe here with the four large potatoes will probably serve about six people or four real hungry people. And then I'm going to do some cheese. And if you like more cheese, of course, put more in it. If you like less, use less. And I just layer and chop up the cheese. It's as simple as that. And I'll do another potato. The reason I like to slice my t potatoes as I go, they don't turn brown. And I know you've seen some potato recipes that kind of turn dark and brown, and this will uh, eliminate that. More salt. More butter. And more cheese. And you continue this until you use all of your ingredients. My daughter, Rachel, has a nickname. And it's poo. When she was a little girl, her grandfather named her or called her Winnie the Pooh, and it has stuck. She has two children of her own, and uh, we still call her Pooh. My granddaughter Chloe calls her Aunt Pooh, so I think that's kind of funny. And Rachel loves these scalloped potatoes, so Rachel, I'm going to save you a portion of these, I promise. She does love them. I'm using the large baking potatoes today. You can use basically any kind of potato, but um, I like to use these large ones because they go a long way. You just have to peel four potatoes and it makes, as you can see, it makes this casserole dish full. So I'm going to use a whole stick of butter in this just to make them extra rich and buttery. And a little bit more cheese. This recipe probably I've used eight to 10 ounces of cheese. But again, if you want more, you can put more or less. Now the last thing I do, I better put a little bit more salt on there, is to pour some whole milk. Now this is what binds it all together and getting the right amount is the key in this. You want to pour it to where it's just coming up to the top of the um, container, casserole. That's pretty good. Now, before I put it in the oven, I'll show you how good that looks. And you can see the milk is just coming up to the 
the top of the potatoes. I'm going to bake this uncovered for about 90 minutes at 350 degrees. And this recipe actually is better the next day. Uh, if, you, if you want to do um, a family get together or make this for a family gathering, make it a day ahead and then reheat it. It thickens up the next day. So let's put it in the oven. So here's the scalloped potatoes, still very hot. I would like to taste them, but I'm going to save these till tomorrow because they're always better the second day.